Jennifer Dixon, Chief Executive of the Health Foundation, give her plenary lecture on the new primary care, Mind the Gaps. Well, I think artificial intelligence is going to help enormously to be able to develop um, support decision making in general practice um, by enabling GPs but also staff who aren't GPs to get more rapid access to the best available evidence given what the patient is saying and therefore to help and to help support the patient. Um, and I see the future being a lot, a lot more AI-enriched decision-making tools being available to a wider set of primary care staff to help patients, both in the practice in a face-to-face -face, um, mode, but also in a virtual mode and off, uh, where the patient isn't necessarily face-to-face -face with the... So I think there's, there's a lot of clinical decision making, particularly for episodic and, and acute things that could be, that could be done in that way. Um, a really interesting book came out last year um, by Suskind and Suskind, father and son, that wrote about the future of the professions. And in essence, what they talked about was that the professionals, including medical people, um, their role would change dramatically so that their work, their, what could be standardised, will be standardised and given to non-medics non to, to, to do, aided by decision support. And what was left for the medical profession would be areas of care that are simply unprotocolizable, um, that are, can't be standardized, that can't be subject to decision trees or AI. And it's really the art and craft of medicine. And um, so they felt that the professions, and that includes lawyers as well, their, that their work would be, in a sense, shrunk back to this rather more arty and unprotocolized area, which I think in medicine includes the rarer things. It would include complex patients with multiple chronic diseases and probably uh, patients with a large overlay of behavioral issues as well. And I think that is probably the, 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 what we will see over time with a larger number of staff aided by other things like AI to be, to be, to be involved in care in a much more active way in a way that once doctors were. Thank you.